Good morning, guys. Are you all doing good? Very good, ma. Okay. So, in the previous topic about what we discussed, hmm, about the introduction of MS Excel. Very good. So, we have seen about this introduction to the MS Excel, isn't it? Yeah. So, have you all guys practiced that how to open MS Excel? Have you guys practiced? Only few are responding. So we are doing with computers. So if you little do a uh, like work out with this chapter, then it will be a brief introduction for you. Like it will make you to understand more. Okay. So once I like once you listen to my class, just go with the temp uh, like computer or go with the phone also it's no okay no problem then what you will feel is that you can understand more better way okay so please do that and for the next class just what i'm telling now you please see and please do practice with your systems so that it gives you brief more information okay yeah now moving to the next topic that is working with worksheets see what is it working with worksheets in the previous session we already discussed that in the ms excel we are having worksheets and workbook okay so what is a worksheet ma let's see what is it move around worksheet okay now let us see the worksheet of the ms excel okay the keyboard and the mouse can be used to move around the worksheet okay so in order to move around the worksheet see this is the keyboard we already know and that is the mouse so in order to move around the worksheet what we need to use we need to use either keyboard or either mouse okay with the help of these two we will be moving around the worksheet okay and i'll show you how you will move so let's see the four arrow keys and the four destination keys that is paste up okay there it is pz it is written right we should not spell it as pz okay how we should spell paste okay paste up paste down home and n key are used to move around the worksheet okay see these are the keys okay these are the arrow keys and those are the destination keys okay first we have learned that we need to have particular keyboard and mouse and in that particular keyboard and mouse what we need to use means we need to use this arrow keys and destination keys okay let's see these arrow keys this is towards the left that is towards the right or up down okay and these we are having see in that line it mentioned now pays up okay pz it is told now that is pays up pays down and and home like this we are having four destination keys and four arrow keys okay and next for what these keys are used ma to move around the worksheet if you want to move towards the left if you want to move towards the right either up or down anywhere if you want to move you must use this keys okay next the above keys are can be used along the combination of control and shift key to move faster in the workbook okay fine so what he is telling is that in order to move towards the left and right we will be using this arrows okay like a left arrow or right arrow up arrow down arrow or paste down paste up we will be using but in order to move little faster every time we don't click these buttons and all do we no it feels little difficult so in order to move little faster we need to click con like we need to use control and shift keys also okay so see these are the arrow keys and those are destination we already know and these are the control and shift keys these already will be present on the keyboard okay shift okay this is called a shift button or shift key and this is called what control key we will be using this two keys in order to 
make little faster okay we need to move little faster so we'll be using these two keys and next one cell at a time what is this one cell at a time let's see now firstly the down arrow key is used to move the cursor downward one cell at a time okay see let's see just now we have seen what is a down arrow key okay the arrow which is in the down which represents towards down like this okay that is a down arrow see i'm clicking on the down arrow the cell is coming little down see next again 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 so what happening when i'm clicking on the down arrow key the cell is coming towards the down okay and next so in order to move the cell towards the down which key we need to click yes we need to click on the down arrow key and next the up arrow key is used to move the cursor upward one cell at a time okay so if i want to go up okay before i came down now now again i want to go up then any then i need to click on again on up arrow key see i'm clicking on the up arrow key slowly the cell is going back again up 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 getting children so in this way we will be using the up arrow and down arrow okay next the third is the right arrow key is used to move the cursor one cell right now we have seen up and down now let's see about right also see towards the right okay see if i stand here this is my right now so it moves towards that side when i click on to the right see the cell is moving towards the right towards 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 the right so in order to move a cell towards the right on which key we need to click on the right key okay on the right arrow key next the left arrow key is used to move the cursor one cell left at the time same how we did in the up and down in the right cases the same will follow with the case of the left now which key we need to press that is left arrow key okay let's see now again i'm coming towards my left okay when i stand like this this side becomes my left now so see again the cell is moving towards the left in order to move in this left way what key we need to press it is left arrow key very good next the tab key is used to move the cursor one cell right at a time so in order to move towards the right we no need to click that right key always okay we can also use tab let's see i'm clicking on tab okay so what happening again the cell is moving towards the right getting my point also in order to move right we are having two options what is that one we can use the tab option and other we can use the right arrow key okay next that shift plus tab key is used to move cursor one cell left at a time so just now as we have two features for the moving of two a uh, cell towards the right in the same way we are having in the case of the cell which is moving in the left side what is that another case we need to press shift okay by holding on the shift key we need to press on the tab key then what happens the cell again comes towards the left see it's coming slowly towards the left okay i'm not doing this with the help of a left arrow key okay i'm doing this with the help of the shift and tab key okay getting my point holding on shift we should press on the tab so that the cell will move towards the left so in this way we are having mm, two kinds of procedures in order to move a cell towards right and also towards left okay yeah after pressing up arrow this will be the active cell after pressing left arrow that will be a active cell present active cell after pressing right arrow this will be a active cell after pressing down arrow this will be a active cell so don't get confused that 
what active 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 nothing just i'll tell just please glance it okay see this is the cell that's what now i am selecting okay i'll just move to the right okay now what happened from here the cell moved to here that means this place this particular cell became active okay now again i come to the left okay so this cell became active if i move up okay then see that particular cell became active if i again i click on the down now again the same cell became active so getting my point so which cell we are selecting that particular cell will be active okay and the before cell will be inactive getting very good and the next one one screen at a time now we have seen one how to move a particular one cell okay how to move a button cell at a time okay immediately okay how to move the cell we have seen now let's see how to move a screen okay so screen means what this is a screen from a so from you can see here right from 1 to 25 okay please look at this from 1 to 25 and from a to u you are getting now from 1 to 25 and from a to u this everything is one screen okay if i want to move to the next screen that means what after u and after 25 see you can see the number here right 25 so after 25 i want to move and i want to move after u then how to move okay let's see now moving one cell at a time may be very slow at times when the user has to scroll one part of the worksheet to another yeah so in the previous topic we discussed how to move from one cell to another in the same way if i want to the if i want to the cell that we choose in next screen then it takes little time let's see now i am uh, see for example i will start from a okay i'll start from a1 i want to go to w but we are having up to u let's see how much time it will take see i need to press every time every time i need to press that key see please observe that okay see now i went came up to w okay so how much time it take so if i want to go to some up to how many we are having this alphabets we are having up to x f d we discussed right already so if i want to go to that last then we keep on clicking on that particular key or what we don't use that na so in order to do that in order to save that time these screens are useful okay the set of direction keys moves one screen at a time a given below see now how to move from one screen to another screen the first is the paste down key is used to move down one screen okay see please do observe i am moving now down okay by clicking on which key paste down key okay see i am having from 1 to 25 please do observe this i am having from 1 to 25 now i want to go to the next screen that is what from the 26 i want to go let's see i am pressing on the paste down key see i am not doing any magic okay if you do the same what i am telling now in your same laptop or in your uh, computer then you can see this okay it's not a magic okay so what i clicked on i clicked on which key it's paste down key okay so i got the next screen that is 26 to 50 again i want another screen so now see 51 to 75 again i want another screen what i will do i will be doing the same again again 76 to 100 getting okay so in order to move again from that previous screen i just click on the same key that is paste down and now i had 76 to 100 so in this way if we want to change the screen in the downward direction we need to click on which key exactly that is paste down key 
next the alt alt is there you should not pronounce it as alt okay alt okay alt plus paste down key is used to move right one screen so now we have seen how to move from one screen to another screen in the downward direction now we will be seeing how to move from one screen to another screen in the which direction hmm? yeah right direction now see what key i need to press now alt that means holding an alt key we need to press face down okay then what will happen see here also you please do observe here towards right that means from a to u getting from which point a to u is now one screen that we are having now we are moving to the next screen towards the right after u now we are moving so for that we need to press alt plus paste down okay see okay in order to move to the right side screen we are pressing on the alt plus paste down so now what happened now the screen changed it is from u to yo okay now again i'm pressing the alt and paste down see from again ao to bi getting my point okay again i'm pressing alt plus paste down so what happens from bi to cc the screen has changed so in this way we can easily change the screen without continuously keeping on pressing on that key buttons getting very good next the paste up key is used to move up one screen okay so we have seen how to move down and how to move towards the right now let's see how to move up okay see which key we will be using paste up key is used to move one screen up okay so let's see now i'm clicking on paste up so now we are having 76 to 100 i want to go to the previous screen that means before 76 which screen is there i want to see that so in order to see that which screen and i like which key i need to press that is paste up okay let's see that see it is from 51 to 75 this is what the previous screen exactly and again i'm pressing the same 26 to 50 again 1 to 25 so we got as it is so in order to move in this way like in order to move the screen towards the upward direction we need to use which key it is paste up key okay and then next alt plus paste up key is used to move left to one screen okay so we have moved towards the right now up to cc from bi to cc we had moved towards the right again i want to work at the a1 cell then what i need to do i need to bring my screen towards the left i just told how to move towards the right but i hadn't told about how to move about the left now so now in order to come towards the left to the screen we need to click on alt plus paste up okay see i'm clicking on alt plus paste up see this ba which is present here went to that last point getting now see here there is ao now again i'm pressing that alt plus see now here there is ao in the previous screen but it went there again i'm pressing so what happening i got it back getting my point children so in the same way we will be adjusting the screen according to our conditions getting so you don't uh, like feel confused once you listen to the class and after once you practice then you will be perfect okay moving to the next topic to move within active area okay so how to move within a active area okay see usually where we place the cell that becomes an active cell and this entire area will become a 
active area okay and see how to move it excel allows the user to move only to cells that are non empty the area in the worksheet that contains data is called as the active area so that's what we have discussed now so the area in the worksheet which contains the data okay see if i type something here on this particular cell if i type something okay like hi kids if i type okay that becomes a active area okay so which contains the data is called an active area next how to move this how to use this active area firstly the control plus right arrow is used to jump to the right most cell of the same row yeah see i am now considering this a cell okay a one cell i am considering a one cell okay see from here i just want to move to the up like right most right most means what in the same right column okay in the same right column which is the last one in the previous class we discussed that we are having up to x f d okay so up to that cell i want to go then how we'll just creep on going kicking on the arrow keys do we do no na so how will be moving means by clicking on the control plus right arrow see i am placing this cell onto the a a1 cell i am selecting this particular cell now i want to move to the right in the same row right side towards that side the utmost that means the last cell i am going to by clicking on right control plus right arrow see we got it right x f d so in this way in order to move from first cell to last cell that right most means it is the last cell that last cell is only final okay to move to that final and last cell we need to click right plus like control plus right arrow okay and next the control plus left arrow is used to jump to the left most cell of the same row see now we came up to final that is x f d now again i want to go to the a what we will do we'll keep on pressing that arrow don't do that okay so what is the shortcut key for that it is control plus left arrow see within a single second we got it back getting so that is what the power of short keys so that's the reason you need to buy hard those shortcut keys or you need to practice those shortcut keys okay and next the control plus down arrow is used to jump to the downmost cell of the same column in the same we have seen right at uh, like most right cell and most left cell okay in the same way now we'll see most downward cell see now i'm having here at 1 in the previous class we have discussed now we are having almost 10 lakh numbers okay so let's see i want to go to that 10 lakh number we will be not doing any foolish or silly things by clicking on the down arrow key okay we will be jumping directly to the last key okay how by clicking on control plus down see i'm here i'm clicking on control plus d down okay so what happened 10,48,576 see properly it is the cell number 10,48,576 see even at a faster speed okay fastest speed we came down okay again i want to go up then how we'll go up and see the next one the control plus up arrow is used to jump to the top most cell in the same column so we'll be using again control plus up in order to move to the up cell like first cell in the same okay i'm repeating again 
in the same roman in the same row in the same column okay not in any another okay so again i'm pressing control plus up down key so what happening see again we came to the a1 first cell in this way we can easily within fraction of seconds we can adjust okay next one sheet at a time what is the topic ma'am one sheet now first we have seen one cell next we have seen one screen okay now we are seeing one sheet we are we already discussed now in the previous class that is these are the screen sheets sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 sheet 4 sheet 5 if you want to extend we'll simply click on this so what happens we'll get the next sheet okay those are the sheets so i want to move from one sheet to another she sheet at a time that means what in a fraction of second i want to move how we will move again we should not use that silly method okay we should use shortcut keys okay so what is that shortcut key for this let's see excel provides only two keys to move across sheets okay so how many keys do we have to move across this excel sheets only two what are those two keys one is control plus paste down key okay that key is used to move to the next sheet okay and what is the second key that is control plus paste up key getting so that key is used to move to the previous sheet let's see how we will be using this control plus paste down means by holding the one finger on the control we should click another finger on the paste down key okay let's see that see now i am in the sheet 1 i just want to move towards the next sheet then i will be clicking on control plus paste down okay see i move to the second again i am doing the same i move to third again 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 so you observe now in this way we will be moving from one sheet to another sheet okay and in order to come to the previous that means again i am just now up to eight sheet okay i want to go back again to the sheet 1 so now what key i will be clicking i will be clicking on control plus paste up so what happening see do observe here 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay so we came to the first sheet taking in this way we will be using the shortcut keys to move from one sheet to another sheet okay next one moving around the worksheet using mouse so how to how we should move around this worksheet with the help of the mouse up to now we have seen how to move across this ms excel with the help of the keys only with the help of the keyboard in the starting only i told we are having two items one is keyboard and mouse now let's see with mouse how we can move okay before we learn how to move around the worksheet using the mouse let us have a look at the following table what is that following table let's see which illustrates the different shapes of the mouse pointer when it moves around the excel window the pointer shape changes to signal what will happen if the user clicks the mouse in the area of window the various mouse pointer shapes and where they appear are given here okay it's telling simply that how the shape of the mouse pointer changes when it is moving across the ms excel okay let's see now that also see this is what is the mouse pointer okay that is what is a cursor okay so i am moving this cursor here so how it is looking like it is looking like plus with a space in between the lines now see i am placing the same cursor here 
how did it changed hmm it's simply looking like a broad line plus okay it is looking like plus broad line symbol now i'll move this to here how it changed i'm not doing anything again i'm telling those are the features of this ms excel okay so when i place this mouse cursor here it changed as down arrow and i placed here upside arrow okay one is down and another is the up and again i'm placing here it moves towards the right and if i place towards there okay what happens see again i can see that arrow symbol in this ribbon if i keep an cursor in this particular ribbon see anywhere i keep on the ribbon which symbol i'm seeing there it is simply arrow okay so in this way the arrow or the mouse pointer will change its shape according to the excel sheet okay next go to f5 okay f means here function functional keys we will be having okay so one of that functional key is f5 in order to go to f5 what is the use let's see now the f5 function key is the go to key we call go to key as f5 or function key or we will be calling f5 key as go to key okay if you press the f5 key you are promoted for the cell to which you wish to go see this is advanced okay now let's see i am just on this key okay i am just particular towards the k and 9 what is the cell address of this k9 i want to go to some like ac 13 i want to go ac 13 see let's move now with the help of a right key i am just moving this cell towards that side okay i want what ac okay now let's see please do observe i am moving towards the right side up to ac still i am moving c c so okay we got ac and i what i told ac 13 so 1 2 3 so here is the 13 okay there is ac and here is the 13 this this is what actually the cell address that i want to go now in order to do this process we had taken little time okay and one more thing is that we found little difficulty we need to search where is ac and where is this 13 okay so in order to overcome this kind of issue we are having this f5 or function key or the go to key so if we press the f5 key you are promoted for the cell to which you wish go to on clicking clicking on this we can go to whatever cell we like enter the cell address and the cursor jumps to that cell it's really good right if we enter the cell address into that then automatically the cursor jumps to that particular cell let's see how to do that press f5 the go to dialog box box opens so if i these functional keys that is f5 key is present on the keyboard on the top most keys okay if we click on that f f5 key what happens a dialog box will be opening what is that that is only go to dialog box okay so i am pressing on this f5 key see here go to is written so this is what is the go to dialog box so here it is written now we will be deleting this and i want to go to some cd 17 cd 17 okay i click on okay see cd and 17 can you observe here it is 17 and there it is cd how fast we moved okay so in this way we will be using this option go to and we will be typing there see here we asked us to type je in the reference field okay now let's see 
again we'll be pressing on f5 we got a go to box i will be writing here j3 i will be next press enter excel moves to the cell j3 if we click on okay it's fine or else we can also click on enter then it moves to j3 so this is the j and this is the 3 so here see the cell address j3 getting so in this way we need to use this go to key okay and next okay you can also use control plus g to go to a specific cell okay in order to go to the specific cell what we need to use is the shortcut that is control plus g how we will be using hold down the control key while you press g that means first we need to keep a finger on control we should press the control and then we should press on g okay the go to dialog box opens see now i'm pressing on control and g now the dialog oh sorry the go to dialog box got open in this way we will be using the shortcut okay next okay now let's move to the next topic selecting cells if you wish to perform a function on a group of cells you must first select those cells by highlighting them the exercises that follow teach you how to select okay so if i want to type particular information in particular cells then first i need to select those all cells okay so how to select let's see note that extend selection appears on the status bar in the lower left corner of the window you are in the extend mode so we should move towards this status bar we have already gone through the status bar in the previous class okay so this is what is the status bar this is the corner okay now i'll be selecting this okay this all content i will be selecting so what the content i selected here that is appeared on this status bar getting or uh, once you will see okay again i am deselecting these all okay see there is nothing on the status bar can you find anything no now again i am selecting these all see how many 1 2 3 4 5 so the count is how much 5 so that's it and next commands you can select an area by holding down the left mouse button and dragging the mouse over the area so how to select the particular area let's see okay excel commands can be given in one of the following ways what are the steps let's see okay the first one choosing an option from the tab and ribbon choosing an option from the shortcut menu and selecting a tool from the quick access toolbar let's see that okay see this is a home tab okay under this home tab this is what the entire ribbon in this ribbon we are having paste cut copy and in order to have underlining or in order to have that coloring under the letters alignment we already have seen na and also this size uh, here okay the font size we changing the letters size okay and also those uh, cell styles insert delete those all we can see under this home tab let's see now insert tab okay in under this insert tab again there is another ribbon which is having tables okay if you want to insert any table we can and pictures we can insert shapes we can insert and also pie chart bars okay and also we can write header and footer those all options will be found under this insert tab next is page layout so under this margins orientation size print area okay background those all will be there in that way we'll be having some particular tabs and their ribbons select a tool from the quick access toolbar here this is the quick access toolbar so if you click on to this we'll be getting some options whether we want or we don't want okay see i want this new then we'll be clicking on new extra 
icon is appeared here again if you want another open again so in this way we can use the shortcut keys next choosing an option from the tab ribbon okay what is this i just told you now this is what is the this is the ribbon for which tab page layout tab okay tabs are primary means of performing tasks such as opening copying printing a worksheet or creating a chart tabs can be excluded by pointing the mouse pointer to the tab name and clicking on the mouse button okay see what he is telling is that i want to just go to the home so i'll just go to the home and i'll click then i will get a home tab ribbon in that home tab ribbon what we can find paste cut copy okay a drop down ribbon is displayed i just told you now when i click on to this home i just got a drop down ribbon if i click on to this insert again i'll get another drop down ribbon okay that is choose a command by pointing to the desired option and then click the left mouse button different ribbons appear for different tabs okay that's what if you want to select that particular option see for if, if i want to select this table option i'll just click on to the table he will be asking this all if you click okay we'll be getting some small table like this okay so that table we can adjust according to our condition that's uh, not needed now we will see that in next class okay so in that way we'll be choosing the what options we want okay and different ribbons appear for different tabs that's what actually we have seen just right now see now we had a big table okay so in this way we can insert tables according to our conditions whatever we want we can choose okay and different tabs this will be having another this will be having different data will be having different review different view different aerobat different so in that way different tabs will have different ribbons and the next choosing an option using a shortcut menu okay so how to choose an option using the shortcut always we can't go to this all always we can't search na if i want to go to the graphs i will search where where is graph where is graph in the home it is no graph insert okay it's a waste of time okay so always we can't even remember those all so in order to uh, overcome this kind of problems will be having the shortcut menu by clicking the right mouse button excel opens a shortcut menu by choosing an option you can give command to excel see frequently used commands are seen here what i'm doing i'm just clicking them this if this is my mouse i'm just clicking the right right button okay so what happens a menu got appeared this menu is having cut copy insert delete select clear contact sort filter table so in this kind we are having some of the options so in, uh, always we will be not going to this home tab and in that we don't use this cut paste options so in order to like save the time okay we will be using simply by clicking on the right button or right key of the mouse so that a menu appears in that we will be having frequently used options by clicking on those frequently used options we can see uh, for example i will be selecting this table okay i will be selecting this entire table by dragging it okay by dragging it okay see it was got selected okay now i'm do, clicking on the right right click on the mouse i'm now i'm going to the delete option okay i'm just clicking on the delete okay see it got deleted okay in this way we can use those shortcut menu okay i hope you all understood this chapter very well and i hope you all enjoyed this okay and 
now after listening to this video you please open your system or computer or laptop anything please do practice once so that you can understand more easily okay you can remember more easily okay you if you have any leisure time please do do these all exercises for just fun okay for just having fun you can do so that in order that you can remember okay thank you